One of the things that is important to underscore is the president is right that this is a humanitarian crisis, but it is a crisis of his own creation. And several weeks ago, I was at Lackland Air Force Base, where, where roughly 1,200 of these children are being held. And a senior official there was describing to me, you know, the, 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 the coyotes who are bringing these kids in, they're not well-meaning social workers. They're not some guy with a beard and Birkenstocks trying to help the kids. These are vicious drug cartels, transnational, global drug cartels, and these little boys and little girls are being physically assaulted. They're being sexually assaulted. The senior official at Lackland described to me how the cartels will put machine guns to the back of the head of a little boy or little girl and force him to cut off the fingers or ears of another little boy or little girl to send them back to the family to try to extort ransom. Mm for their children. It is horrific. Mm -hmm. And when President Obama and the Senate Democrats stand up and say, we're going to do nothing to change the amnesty, we're going to do nothing to solve this problem, what they are doing is consigning more and more little boys and little girls to be physically assaulted, to be sexually assaulted. It is the opposite of humane and compassionate. It is absolutely heartless for President Obama to keep promising amnesty and, and inciting children to be handed over to the custody of violent drug cartels who are, who are abusing them.